What's up everybody, welcome back or to the channel. So today we're gonna to do something fairly easy and what we're gonna be doing is replacing one of the wheel studs that your wheel actually slides onto because this past week I just got new wheels and tires for my wife's truck and I ordered aftermarket spiked lug nuts as well. So as I was putting the wheels on, I got down to the very last lug nut and I was using an impact wrench, which I know I probably shouldn't, but towards the end, I was just excited to get them on. I was rushing a little bit. I threaded the spike lug nut onto the lug stem, maybe a quarter turn. It felt like it was actually threading onto the stud, so I figured, what the heck? Put my impact wrench on, zapped it, and I ended up stripping out the lug nut and the lug stem. So that's what we're gonna be replacing today. So if you ever happen to have a busted or stripped out lug stem, on your Ram 2500. Now again, this is a 2018 Ram 2500. I'm gonna show you how to replace it today. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Okay, so I went ahead and took the wheel off. We got the back of the truck jacked up. So I have the jack here and I have a jack stand right behind it over here supporting the truck's weight. And these are the lug stems that I was talking about. Now, all of the rest of the lug stems are perfectly fine. This one is the one that I stripped out. Now I was installing these Venom powder coated spike lug nuts and they go on, okay, the rest of the studs like that, perfectly fine. But when I put it on here, either the thread pattern on the lug nut was slightly off or when I was sticking it on there, I went in on too much of an angle and threaded it on. But either way, I stuck the lug nut on, gave it like one or two turns just like that and figured it was good. Put my impact wrench on, zipped it in, but as you can see here, it won't go any further. And you can see it's kind of like on an angle. So this lug stem is completely ruined and the spike lug nut was ruined as well. Not this one, but I have the other one. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this lug stem today. Now, again, to do so, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you jack up the back of your truck, take your wheel off. We're gonna to have to unbolt the caliber here, pull that out of the way, and then we're gonna to have to use probably a hammer or a sledgehammer, just kind of tap the drum here to get that pulled off to get access to popping these lug stems out. So let me go ahead and start working on taking off the brake caliber here. It's not hard. I think there should be just two big bolts, like one right here, okay? If you're looking at from here, right over the top, there's one big one here, and then there's one way down here. So you take those two big bolts out, and then this whole caliber here will slide off. We're just gonna set it out of the way and then we'll work on popping this drum off here in a minute. So let me do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back. And this is a little bit of a challenge sometimes if you have not done it before. The reason I say that is because sometimes from factory, they use some type of special Loctite on the bolts. So again, the top bolt here and the bottom bolt there, they look like this, okay? So these were really hard to get off. I went through wrenches, crescent wrenches. I used different sockets. I could not get those two bolts broken. I even went ahead and used an impact wrench with an extension piece over here from underneath the truck from behind, and I still couldn't get it to come loose. Eventually what I did was I used the extension piece with the socket here, which, let me see what we got here. This is the socket I used here. I put the socket on from behind and obviously this piece was in the way. So I used the extension to put the tool back here and I crawled underneath the truck. Then I went ahead and I used a really long breaker bar and then I used the back extension bar from my jack on top of that breaker bar from underneath and put some leverage on it and they did break loose. I did use a little yield like this on the bolts to loosen them up a little bit. But again, it was not easy getting those two bolts out. Ultimately at the end, after I've tried everything else, what worked was a really long breaker bar. And then I used an extension bar on top of that from underneath the truck from behind over here. And I did get them to break loose. So once you take those two bolts out right there, you can slide your caliber off, set it off to the side. So we did that. Now, the next thing you gotta do is get your, your hub off here. So that's not easy to get off either. So if, again, if this was the first time ever doing it, over time, heat, brake dust, rust, all that kind of stuff can kind of fuse that hub to this. So what you need is your old trusty sledgehammer and just start banging on this drum around the edge, not the part that your brakes grab here, not here. 
As you can see here, I'm already knocking some of the rust off the edge here as it accumulates over time. You're banging on this edge right here, all the way around, okay? So once you take your sledgehammer, smack it down on the top, you know, the sides, try to get it from underneath, and just start banging around the outer portion of that hub over here, eventually it'll break loose and then you can slide it right off. So now I have it marked with an X. This right here is the lug stem we have to get out. Now, the simplest thing to do with these is you're just gonna take a hammer or a sledgehammer and bang it from this side here towards the truck because all they do is slide in from the back with like a pressure fitting here and then they hold themselves in place. So before we do that, let me show you what I'm replacing it with. Okay, so over here, now I ordered a couple of these online. You could get these at multiple different places. They're from a company called Dorman. Uh, these are the wheel studs here. I don't know if you need any of that package information here. Okay. Maybe that'll help some of you guys out. But I ordered like five or six of these just so I had some extras just in case this ever happens again. These typically can run upwards of $15 or so online, but I found these on eBay for about seven to $8 a piece. So I just went ahead and ordered five or six so I had them just in case. But ultimately that's what they look like. So as you can see here, this thick portion right here is what goes in over here. This piece right here. So that thicker portion goes through that hole and these little grooves here, once you pound it in place, that's what holds it in place. And then what's left here is what your lug nut grips onto. So this really shouldn't be that hard to do. Again, there should be enough room to do it. Let's just see if I could do this while I'm holding the camera here. There we go. All right, there's the old one right there, okay? Now, before you go ahead and start putting any of these new lug stems in, always try to line them up to make sure they look the same, make sure they fit. I even went ahead and come over here with the new lug stem and grabbed one of these spike lug nuts, threaded it on there, just to make sure it threads good, which it does, so we're good to go with that. Do that first. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back down over here from the back, kind of tuck the head in to the back like this because there's not a lot of space, okay? Then you slide it through the hole and you see how it is a little thicker there, right there? That's when you're gonna have to pound that through and that's when that gets a little bit difficult to do because there's not a lot of room back here. So use a screwdriver, you know, whatever you can to try to put some leverage back here to pound this in from the back. What some people do is before they do this, they'll put their new lug stems in the freezer. So if you put your new lug stem like this into the freezer, maybe an hour or two before you're gonna do this, this metal will shrink up a little bit. And when it shrinks up a little bit, it'll slide into that hole a lot easier. And then when it heats up, it'll expand back to its normal position. So that's a tip you could try there. I didn't do that, I didn't freeze it, but if I have a hard time pounding it in, I might have to. So let me get working on that and we'll be right back. Okay, so let me just show you how I found putting the new lug stem back into its seated position worked best for me. So all I did was I grabbed a couple wrenches, not that I needed them, I did them for space, okay? You could use washers, whatever you wanna do, but I just grabbed two wrenches like this and then I put a lug nut on the outside. And then what I'm doing is I'm tightening the lug nut, which because of this space here is gonna pull this lug stem in from the back. So once it gets down to these little grooves like that, it's gonna get even tighter. So just crank it in there and eventually this will seat itself into its position. Once you're done, then go ahead and back the lug nut back off, take your wrenches off and you'll be good to go. So let me keep doing that and we'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I got the new lug stem put back on. Everything's nice and tight, we are good to go. So now we're just gonna go ahead and I took a metal wire brush and just kind of sand it off and grind it off a little bit of the excess rust around this brake drum here and just kind of basically cleaned it up a little bit. I mean, that's all we're looking to do because again, when you have this off of the truck, just do a little bit of general maintenance on it, clean it up, take a little wire brush, just scrape it up a little bit, clean it up the best you can, and then we're gonna go ahead and install it back in the truck. To put it back on, it's very simple. You're gonna slide it on with the outer edge like this facing you and slide it right on. 
Once you put it back on, we're gonna slide our brake caliber back over, bolt it down, and we'll be ready to put our wheel back on. So let me do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so we went ahead and we got everything put back on. We got the new lug stem right here installed. We got the drum put back on. We got the brake caliber put back on. Everything's tightened down. Everything's good to go. And we are good to go now. So that is how you replace a lug stem when you have one broken or stripped. It's not super hard. The hardest part for me was just getting these original bolts taken out which they were really tight in there, but I got those taken out and then using some type of a sledgehammer to just keep banging around the side of this drum section right here. Don't hit the part here where your brakes grab, again, right here, okay? Hit that all the way around, it'll loosen up, pop it right off, use a hammer, bang in from the outside in, whichever lug stem you wanna replace, it'll pop right out. It's best to try to put the new lug stem in the freezer to shrink it up a little bit, but if you don't get a chance to do that, not a big deal. Slide it in from the back. And then what I did was I just used a little socket stem like this from the back. It's kind of awkward on a weird angle and I just hit it with a hammer and kept tapping it in. And then I used my wrenches with an old lug to thread it on. So as I would tap it in from the back a little bit, I would crank down the front, the socket to get the lug tighter. And then I would tap it from the back tighten up the lug in the front and just kept going back and forth until I got this lug stem seated into the position it needed to be in. So overall, it's in there now, everything's good to go and we are done. Okay, everybody, so we are finally done. It really is not that hard to replace a lug stem. It really just depends on how old your truck is or how new it is and if this has been taken apart before because that's gonna really determine how tight those bolts are to get off. But once you get them off, it's really not that bad. You just take your time, don't get frustrated. It's gonna be a little difficult to get the new lug stem tapped in from the back because of the thicker portion of the bolt that's towards the back of the head. Just stick it in. Again, use a couple wrenches to create some depth, almost like a, almost like a big spacer on the front. Put an old lug nut, don't put a new one on. Try to, if you have an old lug nut, put an old lug nut just in case you ruin the lug nut doing this. Use the lug nut on the front, tighten it down a little bit, but Always try to tap it from the back. Use a big screwdriver or even better, use like a long socket extension and just keep tapping it from the back. Eventually you'll get it into the position it needs to be. It has to be tapped in all the way. Once you get it in, put everything back together. It's really that simple. So there you go. That's how easy it is to replace one of the lug stems on your Ram 2500 truck. It's not that hard. It just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of hard work. But once you get it done, you're probably not gonna have to do it again, and it's gonna save you a lot of money instead of taking it to a dealership and paying them that high hourly rate to do the same work. So if you happen to have some basic tools at your house, I highly recommend doing it yourself. So that's it for today's video. I hope this video helps some of you out. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, like this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And also do me a favor, subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. So again, that's it for today's video. I just wanna say thank you to each and every one of you one more time. Thank you, I truly appreciate you all. And as always, see you in the next video.